right now uh, we're in the process of closing down a facility in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, our SMC facility to build motors and backhoes for years. We're now merging it into our Gibson City operation where our Earthmaster product line and our Rhino product line is built. Uh, we'll be building a combination of loaders, backhoes, attachments. Uh, we're adding about 30 to 35 jobs right now and uh, doing a lot of cleanup work in the factory. You're better off. We're doing a lot more work on our attachment areas like brush grapples, uh, grader scrapers, uh, new lines of uh, some of the smaller products, some of the uh, box blades are changing colors and designs and stuff like that on them to make them more manageable for both our inventory and for dealer inventory and transfers. Uh, we're doing a lot of work in that area right now. Now we're getting ready to launch our what we call our uh, fall uh, flail shredder program or our shredder program where we offer our FR240 shredders for crops, our row crop flail shredders. Uh, that'll be out here in the next probably week, week and a half. Uh, we give them about a 30-day window to advance order for the fall usage. Um, and uh, so that's coming on us real quick right now. One of the trends that we're seeing is there's, a, there's still this heavy uh, emphasis on managing residue. Uh, we've seen our row crop flail shredders go up in sales. Of course, we're seeing really good results with our Earthmaster product line. Uh, we just see a lot of guys interested in how they can manage and how they can and how can they can run their operations more efficiently. You see that with the precision farming today. That's really key. That's really keying guys in on what is their best practices or what should be their best practices.